Step on up, it's time to read a story now. Super awesome fun, you'll see. Come on in, the story's round the corner now. Super awesome story time with me. Hello everyone, it's Crystal here from Super Awesome Storytime. I am so excited to read another story with you all today. I wonder what today's story might be about. <laughs> but before we find out, I thought that we could sing a song and warm up those beautiful voices of ours. What do you think? <gasps> Fantastic! Maybe we can warm up our bodies too. Hmm. Okay, well I know a song and it is called Kookaburra Sits in the Old Gum Tree. Have you heard of that song before? Oh, wonderful! If you haven't, a kookaburra is a bird that you can find in Australia, which is where I'm from. So sing along if you know the words, otherwise just join in and follow the actions. Okay, let's get our kookaburra ring wings ready. Whoop, whoop. Okay, here we go. <laughs> kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra laugh. Kookaburra gay, your life must be. Should we do a kookaburra singing call? Are you ready? Oh, very good kookaburras. <laughs> okay, let's sing again. Are you ready? Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, counting all the monkeys that he can see. Stop, kookaburra, stop. Kookaburra, that's no monkey, that's me. <laughs> Let me hear those monkey, oh, the monkey noises, can you do that? And the kookaburra laugh. They sound a bit similar, don't they? <laughs> oh, that was wonderful, everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause. Amazing. Now, before we find out what today's story is about, should we have a guess? Fantastic. Okay, well, what do you think today's story might be about? Oh, that's... Oh, wow! Okay, hmm. Uh, what do I think it's going to be about? Oh, wow. Well, mm, I think today's story might be about uh, ooh, a rose, a big beautiful rose that grows taller than the tallest mountains that you can find in the world and spreads the most beautiful smell around the land. Ha ha ha! Or maybe it is about ooh, a giant hippopotamus that does really fun dances. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's about. <laughs> well, should we find out what today's story is? Amazing. All right, let's have a look what's behind the story pillow. <laughs> Ooh, <gasps> easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hmm, I've heard that before when somebody says something that's easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> have you heard that before too? Hmm, well I wonder what's so easy peasy lemon squeezy in this book and who this person is here. Hmm, this to me looks like the Eiffel Tower, which we can find in France. Hmm, this is very, very interesting. Well, I'm very excited to find out what this story is all about. Are you ready? Wonderful, okay, here we go. Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy by Rebecca Zeschke. From the moment Clara was born, things came to her with ease. She would give anything a go and say, excuse me, watch me please. She excelled at her puzzles and thought climbing was easy, so they gave her the catchphrase, easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> well, that must be Clara. Oh, there she is, there is a little baby, and here she is stacking some blocks boop, 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 and climbing up on the couch. Hmm, very clever Clara indeed. <laughs> From crawling to walking to running at speed, she would whiz through her milestones. By age two, she could read. By three, she was spelling words like flibbertigibbet and nincompoop. And by four, she was shooting three pointers in a hoop. <gasps> wow, that's pretty spectacular. Can you see Clara doing all those things? Running with her puppy friend, reading. Again, spelling with those blocks we saw and shooting a basketball into the hoop. <laughs> now when Clara started school, she was more excited than ever. She woke early that morning. Being late, she was never. <laughs> she put on her uniform and brushed her hair nice and neat, packed her bag with a hat 
and something yummy to eat. <gasps> well, that's super important, isn't it? Always packing yummy snacks in your bag when you're going to school. <laughs> and there she is getting ready to start the day in her school uniform. <laughs> Addition, subtraction, and learning to write were things she could do. She was ever so bright. Clara raced through her work with not one small mistake, completing all tasks, not taking one single break. Gold stars were awarded. She'd earned 66. She mastered all her homework and taught her friends her cool tricks. How clever you are. To grade six, off you go. So she packed up her things. Great work. You're a pro. There's Clara doing some addition. Four plus three equals seven. And there's all of her 66 gold stars. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Have you got a gold star before for something? For saying good job. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I wonder what happens in grade six. <laughs> her new class was different, much bigger than her last. She scanned the room for a chair and swiftly sat down fast. She sat in her chair. She sat nice and tall, not worrying about what was coming at all. <laughs> there's Clara. She's just entered her new classroom. Hmm, there's all her new schoolmates and she's ready to do some learning. <laughs> at the front of the class, her teacher would stand with a blackboard behind her and a pointer in hand. Today's competition is something quite fun. It is tricky, but remember, there is a prize to be won. The students were asked to learn three lines in French from the books that were piled at the front of the bench. Clara was shocked. It took her quite by surprise. She really wasn't sure if she could win the first prize. Look at all of those French books. And there's her teacher there announcing competition time. <laughs> oh. Well, it is pretty exciting learning a new language, isn't it? But it can be a little bit scary too if you've never done it before. Do you speak any other languages at home? How wonderful. <laughs> Children sprang to their feet and grabbed a book in a scurry. But Clara just sat there with a head full of worry. This class was unusual, another language they'd speak. She wanted to bail as her knees went all weak. What is French? She did say, I'm not really sure. Should I put on my brave face or head straight for the door? She paused for a minute, then said, I'll give it a go. I'll read each line out loud. I'll just go nice and slow. <laughs> it looks like Clara's classmates may have done some French speaking before. But that's a nice way to go about it, isn't it? To start nice and slow. <laughs> So, Clara took off and studied the pages, but it felt like forever. It was taking her ages. <gasps> the words looked so different, no matter how hard she tried. Clara kept finding she was getting tongue-tied. <gasps> well, that can happen sometimes when you're trying to speak some new words or another language when you're just starting, can't it? Hmm. One by one. They took turns reading, saying their lines out nice and loud. When they finished with their speeches, they all looked incredibly proud. Bonjour, je suis. Clara's turn was next, so she tried with all her might. She spoke her French words quickly, and she hoped that they were right. Bonjour came out bonjour, and oui oui came out woo woo. She tried to say them slower, but there was nothing she could do. Bonjour, je suis. <laughs> She's trying very hard, isn't she? But that's okay. It takes a while to learn something new. <laughs> From around the room came giggles, big chuckles and some laughter. But she held on to her pride, for that she would look after. Excuse me, she said in a voice nice and strong. You shouldn't point and laugh just because I got things wrong. I'm new to this class and these words are all quite tough and to make me feel so bad, come on now, that's a bit rough. You're older than me and you've done this before. Just give me a chance. Tomorrow I will know more. <laughs> oh, well that's not very nice that they were laughing at her because she got it wrong. You have to start somewhere when you're learning something new. 
and it's okay if you get things wrong. You can just practice and try and try again. So she took the book home and she read the whole thing. She studied the sounds and the vowels she would sing. She went back to the basics. She started from scratch, then said, I'll be ready tomorrow for another rematch. Back to school Clara went that very next day, French book in her hand, knowing just what to say. At the front of the class she stood nice and tall, then recited the book with not one flaw at all. There's Clara, studying hard at night, with the moon by her bed, and there she is in front of her class, looking very happy that she knows exactly what to say. <laughs> She spoke with such elegance, spoke fluently with grace, and with that she was awarded a gold star and first place. Well done, they all cheered. You made it sound all so easy, to which Clara replied, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> oh, how good that they all cheered and clapped along. Woohoo, ha ha, go Clara. And Clara there with her gold star. Oh, that's wonderful. The end. How wonderful was that book? And how exciting to be learning new things, whether that's a language or something else. And how important it is to not laugh or make fun of anyone just because they might get something wrong, whether it's the first, second or third time they try. Because all you need to do is support each other and cheer them along. And you know what? After some practice, just like Clara, you will get it just right. <laughs> or maybe even get a gold star, just like in the book. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, that was such a wonderful book. <laughs> I loved it. <gasps> hey, speaking of different languages, just like in the book, speaking French, hmm, I know a song with some different words from places around the world. <laughs> Let me get my ukulele. <laughs> I found my ukulele. I'm so excited to sing another song with you all today. Now, before we sing a song, should we warm up our beautiful singing voices? <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well, why don't we warm up using the words easy peasy? All right, are you ready? Here we go. Easy peasy, easy peasy, easy peasy, easy peasy. Easy peasy, easy peasy, easy peasy, easy peasy. <laughs> Amazing. Are you feeling nice and warm? Fantastic. All right. Now this song that we're going to sing is called Hello. Hello. <laughs> and we're going to sing hello in some different languages that we might find around the world. Just like how Clara learnt French in the book. Are you excited and ready to learn some new ways to say hello? <laughs> Amazing. Alrighty. Here we go. Hello, hello. I'm so excited to say hello to you. Hello, hello. Here's how we say hello. Bonjour, bonjour. Welcome to France. I'm so excited to be Hello and watch the happiness unfurl. 
saying hello, bonjour, konnichiwa, hola, and ciao. Oh, how wonderful we just learned to say hello in all those different languages. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you so much for singing and moving and grooving along with me. <laughs> and thank you so much for reading this wonderful book too. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> See, if we don't get it the first time, it doesn't matter. We just try and try and try again. <laughs> oh, and speaking of wonderful things, check out this incredible artwork that I received. Ooh, this wonderful drawing is by Fatima, and she has drawn somebody that looks like they might be flying. And it looks like they've got some wings. They're flying over, maybe it's a lake, over to a house with a beautiful rainbow up above and a sun with a big smiley face. I love all of the colors that you have there in the rainbow, Fatima. The greens, the reds, the oranges, the blues. How cool would it be to be able to fly in the sky like that, just like a bird? <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing, Fatima. It is awesome. And check out this next incredible artwork. Ooh. This incredible art creation is by Yasmin, and she has created a computer out of what looks like maybe some cardboard and paper. Very, very cool. I like that you've created a screen there and you've got your keypad there, like a laptop. Super creative, very, very cool. And you've got all of the buttons there on the side. Oh, and it looks like that's your space bar there. Very, very creative. Thank you so much for sharing this. It is super awesome, Yasmin, thank you. And check out this next awesome artwork. Ooh. This fabulous drawing is by Joaquin, and he is using a drawing pad where he has drawn his sister Mercedes. How cool is that? Oh, I love it. I love that you can see all her curly hair, her smile. Oh, what an amazing portrait of your sister. I'm sure she is very, very happy with this, Joaquin. Oh, and you look very, very happy too with your creation. And so you should be. It is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing this incredible drawing on your drawing pad. And thank you so much to Yasmin. And thank you so much to Fatima for your amazing drawings and art creations as well. They're all fantastic. So if you would like to share your artwork as well, then please take a picture of whatever it is you're creating and send it on through to me at Super Awesome Storytime. I'll make sure to share it on the next Super Awesome episode. <laughs> and if you're wondering where you can find Super Awesome Storytime, you can find it on YouTube, uh, Facebook, and Instagram. So please like, follow, and subscribe by hitting the subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you soon. Bye! Step on up, it's time to read a story now. Super awesome fun, you'll see. Come on in, the story's round the corner now. Super awesome story time with me.